Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm Jake and tonight I am joined by Lachlan. Hello! Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello! And Josh from some place in Whoop Whoop. Oh yeah, hello. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You're still playing the dinosaur game. I'm sorry. Put the dinosaurs away. Dinosaur Carnival Hunters 3D. What? <laughs> he needs to He's play being dinos- paid. He's being paid. He's on their books. All he can afford is the like, salad. Is Nobody this like the dinosaur. budget version of Raid Shadow Legends? Like This is much better. Because <laughs> you hunt dinosaurs. No, no, no. Raid, we, we love you. Please, spot to the fucking <laughs> <Please>. podcast. <laughs> uh, how's our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? We'll start with you, Lachlan, because you made a return tonight. <sighs> yeah, dude. I played, finally. Play um, being the only thing you do. Real quick, uh, before that, uh, last podcast went up super late. I apologize. This one is going up the day after, but uh, from now on, things should be more back into the swing of things. It was just yeah. a bit of. He's back from holidays. Yeah, back getting back into things, the flow. So all good. But um, yes. Um, so, the. Uh, my day in New Year, my week in New Year. Uh, oh, yeah, I played tonight. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, did, you, I did say you didn't that. play Sunday. And no, I didn't play Sunday because I kind of forgot it was even on. Um, basically, I haven't been playing because form, yeah, format's bad. pretty stale. Um, uh, but I went into Dynamis tonight and went X1. I beat Jake on camera, which is nice. It's like I probably the first time that's ever happened while I'm playing Dynamis. Didn't you lose game one? It- to like a really bad hand. Yeah, yeah, I lost game one too. Yeah, yeah, and I think I lost because I saw bad hands. Like I just I wasn't seeing anything that I sighted in, and like there was nothing that I could use to play around the board state that it was. Um, Lockman just got too far ahead. I did see Ash for every single extra you had though. In fairness, <laughs> every single extra you had, I had Ash for. Yeah. I can't remember who, I think it was Marvin, uh, Seb played against Marvin, and Seb activated about seven x drives and they were all met with Ash. Oh. And In Seb was game. playing... <laughs> then one of them, one of them should lot. definitely get DQ'd, because one's playing too many x drives and the other's playing too many Ash. If he's playing cost for the x drive he's playing too many extra to cards as well. It was over the match. <sighs> um, yeah, but oh. that was fun. I first one invoked Eldritch, one... Thunder Dragon that I lost to. Uh, mm. One invoked Dogmatica and then whatever it was Seb was playing. Anti meta. When you were also playing anti meta. Yeah, Seb said he didn't verse a single meta deck. <laughs> Almighty <laughs> only versed anti meta. Um, he played against me. And then he flipped his anti meta card and I was like, oh cool, I lost. <laughs> Who did you play? And then he activated Duality and added that card next game and I was like, oh cool, I lost. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, my week was good. Um, yeah. Uh, Josh, how was your week in Yu-Gi-Oh? My week? Oh, Sunday was a roller coaster for me, especially when it was Jake. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. That was a fun game. Game two, I flipped Imperial Ward off, sat on Balance, I was like, alright, I just need to draw a salad. It's fine. Sounds fun. He had Alice on, like, there's not much you can do. I couldn't beat it over it, so I left it on field. He normally asked me, like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then, Why he just running? synchro summoned for... <laughs> Wind Pegasus! <laughs> and popped my Imperial Auto and popped my hopes and dreams of winning. I don't know if I popped it straight away, though, to be fair. I think I started popping the other back row first. You know, you popped Imperial Auto immediately and then invoked. Oh, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I that actually was did that tonight as well. <laughs> Look. In fucking Dynamist. <laughs> Just normal summon Ash and was I like... I did. Uh, I'm telling I mean, you, this is the beginning. The beginning of Ignistas. No. <laughs> no, it's really uh, it, it might be. <laughs> But it, we, we are not the beginning. <laughs> Shunping is the beginning. <laughs> I had a pretty good night tonight. I versed... I versed... Who did I verse first? Jono. Oh, yeah. I was Jono. I won. And then I versed Lozar. No surprises. Who stunned Lewis, who just came back. So I two-word Lozar. <laughs> I, I avenged Lewis, my poor man. And then... Game, who did I verse in round three? Doesn't matter. Oh yeah, versus Marvin. Never mind. Yes, yeah, guess I didn't. You Marvin, Marvin did pretty well. He's been doing pretty well actually. He made it to the finals on Sunday. What's he playing? Oh, zombie. Uh, zombie. He's refined his list a lot. Okay, yeah, he's, that's he's good. doing very well. 
Yeah. And that, like he nearly won by a skilled ramp bar. Yeah. I did uh, manage to desire into any salad name so I could foxy pop it. So I won that. And then the finals, which will be on Nolan TCG sometime in the near future. And I got a week and a half. Yeah, very long time away. Uh, I got two old, but it did go to the 40 minute mark. I'm pretty sure every time I lost, it was due to his top deck. Yeah, No, it was it's not... because he didn't Ash Thunder Dragon Fusion. He could have had a fucking Chaos Saving in your hand, and then I died as well. And then the Ash doesn't stop that, so why do you hold it? <laughs> hold it for something else. <laughs> to me, top decks is Sonic Mining, he has a card with this card. Yeah, that's... Well, he had two Ash in <laughs> hand. Yeah. Wait, you need... Oh, God. Whatever. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, ben, your week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I played Son Avalon. As a, like a last second, <laughs> I'm gonna play this cut, play this deck, and uh, I won one game. He showed me the combo, and it's quite. Yeah, I, I sat down for the twenty, and I was like, I'm gonna do my combo I'm gonna eight win times. This 20, that's and what if I can do it eight times, I've probably lost eight times, and I only <laughs> lost seven times. Yeah. Wait, did did I win our game? Yes. Okay, so you were the only person I won against, um, which takes me to my week in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, um, I played so with no side deck. <laughs> yeah, no like, side deck. This I'm, isn't, this no isn't sealed only. Look, the way that my night tonight went, I may as well have played with no side deck because any time that I saw it, it didn't matter, and any time I needed it, it was not in my hand. <laughs> I feel like Jake either does really, really well or really, really bad. Yeah, and look, it this wasn't sometimes. that day. No, today was not my day. <laughs> uh, so I went one X rather than X one. Um, lost to everyone but Ben, and Ben was playing Sun Avalon. So if I hey, lost don't then, talk about Sun Avalon. I would have thrown Look, myself from the, a cliff. The deck it's is a good. Deck. You just good need deck. to be able to like. Yeah, it's still change it's never your interruptions. Be away. <laughs> when it's like my only disruption is three and poem three ash, and my opponent's like, oh, I have to be Mystic Mind. Like, I lost. Mm. There were so many stun players today. Yeah, I'll met it before. Oh. Our format is stun, bro, and Dragon. It's not stun. They're <laughs> just <laughs> monkeys. Out. No, shut up. Anyway, our locals deck. used to what be deck? like one or two people would play stun and then the rest would play something that's relatively high tier. Like you you tier literally play stun OTK. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. I'm pointing to Josh, by the way. Yeah, and I've played Mystic Mind for a while. <laughs> the way you yeah. just laughed just then. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking little gremlin. <laughs> Um, yeah, right. so we went from a locals that was playing like one or two anti-meta type decks to like a solid 50-50. So not everyone was like, let's just do this. Yeah, it's not fun. I don't want to have to think about this. That's how they went. They just want to. I just want to play Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> they didn't even want to play that. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is not playing. Not letting the opponent play. Look, and we only went over this like a couple of weeks ago on the the pod. Like, the difference between stun and control is so vast, and the play style is like painful. Welcome back to the Fuck Winter Podcast, yeah. episode nine. I'm here with Bragg. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we don't discuss. What's the difference between control and uh, stun? One person gets to play in stun. Two people get to play in control. It's like the difference between they get to act just summoning Winder well, or mean like playing like Phantasm control. Spiral. Phantasm Spiral is control. Winder is stun. Yeah, I would I would say control is when you manage your resources and go back and forth, whereas control is like I have activated my win condition. You must out this now. That's done. Yeah, exactly. And they that's out the win condition. You're like, I have activated my second win condition because it took you four turns to out the first one. That's exactly what I'm saying. Isn't that like, just dinos. Fantastic. Dino missed. Yeah. It's, it's just like gain a more advantage pure version, over yeah. turns. Yeah, look, but, like, yeah. Kind Mino of. missed, yes. What, what <laughs> happened today? You activated. Well, he twin twisted. You activated. Howling? The second Howling, so it got second Cosmic. Howling, and then he got Cosmic. And like yeah, and that's shit... the guy who went on to win. Shit player. Didn't Took him to three games. Third. Man, you didn't even take him to two games. Man, top deck like a god. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know. Yeah, not me though. I took um, that one beach. <laughs> um, yeah, no. My, my night was, yeah, awful. Like I said, I just didn't see sides when I needed to see sides. Also, fuck Lancia. Fuck that piece of shit. <laughs> I have no problems with Lancia. I don't know what your problem is. I, I like want to banish. I like you don't want to, to banish. Summon. I like Lancia. You go standby phase Lancia. I didn't open Lancia. And then go. Andy. Oh, I triple tactics. I'm like, no, it's in standby yeah, phase. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by Cosmo. 
Yeah, she's yeah. a beautiful cat. The cat so, is also is here. The yes, so there is one very interesting bit of news that has only just been released. Don't confirm this. <coughs> um, so, shut up. Um, so, it's in regards to uh, a job posting. Um, so, I don't know if any of you are interested, but we, um, Ben, run them through. We need the a breaking chicken news shop. <laughs> oh, wait. We need breaking news. Dun 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 dun. Breaking dun. news. So, Say it. Uh, rather randomly, I was flicking through the Konami website a few days ago and uh, stumbled across a position opening in their Yu-Gi-Oh! department. Uh, so Konami is currently hiring an OP and event specialist to work on major events in their card-branded business development division. OP stands for one penis. Only people with one penis or fewer need apply. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, at, least, at least that's open to most people then. It is for preparing events in their organised play, which could mean a return to YCS next year. The bad part is, I went and looked at this, and this is in the California department, which means that this sucks. That's just where Kanami <laughs> USA is, though. <laughs> <laughs> they had, like, New York. Next year, as next well, year though. we go, because the vaccine's coming out. No, I'm pretty sure it's just California. All good, all good. Pretty sure there's more than one office. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Konami back. official oh, wants to go to New Zealand. Elsewhere. Yes. California, how much ketamine do you do? <laughs> <laughs> it's so like the wheat mix ad. Like California. how many wheat mix do you do? How much horse tranquilizer do you shove so, up your ass? <laughs> theoretically, now, yeah, with Konami looking like they're preparing for major events again, once, what, three of the four of us at this table are vaccinated, the, make sure you get yeah, vaccinated Jake. if possible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We all get the vaccination. Scumbag. We all go like to major events. Like six months from getting it for free. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm four days from getting it for free. Do you have to pay? No, I no. I just get my vaccine. No, but does anyone tools. have to pay? No, it's free. Hell yeah. It's you people just have to wait. It's and this one's free. not going to get it at all. I'm getting it when it's free. I'm not paying. You don't have it's to pay. It's always free, sir. It's you just have to wait. No, no, it's fine if he doesn't get it, because this is what people call... Natural selection. No, but the natural selection applies to like, fucking whatever. Get ready to throw hey, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's selection. get it back on on topic. Fuck window. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to episode ten of the Fuck Window podcast. I'm Hugh Bragg. Episode ten. It's still episode nine. You keep throwing to, to Bragg, who's yeah, never here. Yeah, you're not supposed to say anything. It's supposed to be silence after I introduce no, the Fuck Window podcast. No, it's episode nine. No, we just had episode nine. We're up to episode ten. No, no. Anyway. So it's interesting that they're posting about a job, um, and from what I read, like although it's posting in America, I think it's an international level position. I think uh, it said stuff for North America. It doesn't make any reference to North America. So it's interesting in that. Well, it's interesting regardless. Even if it is in North America, it means that they're at least looking. That... Shh, I'm currently in the middle of a sentence. You <laughs> moron. <laughs> Shut up! You do this all the time. You have a thought come to your head and you immediately verbalize it despite whatever else is going on. So Shut like, the fuck I'm up. I'm sorry, did the middle of my sentence interrupt the start of yours? <laughs> you do this all the time. I don't know you really No feel more of it! Tell Shut your you really goddamn feel. face! <laughs> Oh, Jake's going sicko mode, no cap. <laughs> it was like the straw so that really... broke. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Fucking god! I would kill you when you sit! <laughs> Pretty sure the shot is gonna kill Shut up! Shut up! Shut up, let it finish! I don't even remember what I was saying. <laughs> okay, so what I was saying before I was really interrupted was that it's interesting no matter whether this is an international or just an an American position in that they are looking to organize in-person play. So even if it just starts in America, eventually this will be a global thing. So within, I, I would hope to say a year from now, we would see at least the major regions where they aren't majorly affected coming back to... Does it like, say in-person or could they be just hiring someone to run, uh, it run is remote for tools? Transport, hotels, accommodations, you're organising all stuff Hell like that. Yes. Meetings rooms, booth designs, shipping. Fuck yes. Convention preparation. Everything like that. Pog. 
work with the organized play team on premier event locations and coordinate all aspects of premier level OP tournaments, including but not limited to space negotiation, hotel blocks, and designing tournament areas. Well, you get to work with one other person. <laughs> <laughs> and they... Continue. But, <laughs> I always considered that, like North America would be last in terms of getting events back. No, mm. they'll be first. It's Konami of America. Yeah, like, although it's been, like, the heavily affected area in terms of, like, their TCG play, other than maybe Europe, but even though Europe's had, like, a huge amount of problems. Yeah, Europe's I suppose America's where, like, a majority of where they see their TCG market thriving. Yeah. So that's probably the first place they want to start things off. No trading cards in Walmart now. No? Nope. No, they they sell everything, dude. No, like, they, they, they've ceased sales of trading cards at Walmart. Interesting. I was going to say, did you guys not know about this? I thought no. this was like common, knows, common no. knowledge at this point. Oh, yes, Walmart. That place I always go. Yeah. Uh, they don't sell any trading to, cards anymore. I was going to go to a Walmart when I was in America and I couldn't bring myself to do it. There would be a good product there. You didn't want to good buy yourself product. like a handgun? I didn't. No, no. But in one aisle, you can buy a handgun. In another aisle, you can buy an unlimited Shadow Street Instruction X. Go hand in hand. <laughs> Just open it up, look at the window, and shoot myself with a fucking head. <laughs> It's a healthy format, guys. Please, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy so, yeah. that you executed that joke after I said yeah. it up. <laughs> Bro, I executed I mean, it. Don't worry. <laughs> Myself. Mean, you, you lobbed it in there. Like, <laughs> it was not... It was not. It was already in the up. net. I touched it and they called it an alley-oop. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh. moving on from episode 11 of the Fuck Winter podcast. We were here with Bragg. And now he's gone. Um, we have new cards. So, firstly, Yay. we have the retrains of the legendary monsters uh, that were announced a little while back, or rather the card art was revealed with no effects. Oh, yeah, one of these is, like, good, right? Yeah, the yeah. Uh, mystical elf. Yeah, yeah. The mystical elf is <coughs> good. If you, if you open it and gamma, it's two negations. <laughs> 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 Perfect. He's right. Perfect. Um, so let's start with uh, Mystical Elf. So Mystical Elf, Mystical Burst Stream is its full name. Level 4 Light Spellcaster oh, yeah. Effect. Same stats as the OG Mystical Elf. Um, can only use this name's first and second effects once per turn. When a monster your opponent controls, activates its effect and you control a level 5 or higher normal monster. Quick effect, special summon this card from your hand and if you do, negate that effect. During your opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you can target one normal monster in either graveyard, special summon it, and if you do, while you control it, monsters your opponent controls must attack it if able. So... So how are you ever summoning this? Well, when driver hits board. It's it's a blue eyes hand trap. <laughs> yeah, it's designed for bad decks. I can see two decks that can run this. Blue eyes This and is fucking... Konami giving back to... Not even blue eyes, that, like blue eyes and like Phantasm Spiral. And Phantasm Spiral can't even do it because they can't summon effect monsters. <laughs> Any deck that plays Gamma <laughs> plays this tap. Well, British... No! <laughs> you have to open both! Konami giving back to the players is like, I want new blue eyes support. And they just said, yeah, here you go. No, this is Konami not having also, a good RNG department. A shit. Also, this is Mystical Elf. This is clearly Dark Magician support. Yeah, but... No, Blue Eyes is not. in the art, and it's called Holy Burst Stream. It's literally in the art, Jake. It's called Mystical Burst Stream. Myst oh, actually, the, the Burst Japanese Stream. Name is Holy Burst Stream, and it says Mystical Burst Stream. Oh, translation. fucking Burst Year. That's that's how. <laughs> that's how. I just, how I just aged. What the, has, I like, just aged a decade hearing that. Jesus. Good. So you're fourteen. Yeah, you're fourteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> My man's just about to turn fucking twelve. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the true blue eyes support. Too late for an abortion. Eleventh <laughs> <laughs> um, trimester abortions. Nineteen years <laughs> later, still asking. <laughs> the true blue eyes support comes from Kaiser Glider Golden Burst. No, it doesn't. Why is everything called burst? Anyway, um, level six light dragon effects. It's in a bust. Um, again, same stats as the original Kaiser Glider. Uh, can I only use this card's first What's the original Kaiser Glider. Mm. Um, it's like um, tribute summon. You can bounce a card, I think, and then it can't be destroyed by battle with monsters of the same attack. Continue. Anyway, um, so quick effect: you can tribute one monster, special summon this card from your hand. 
Uh, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls. This card's attack becomes equal to that monster's until the end of this turn. That's pretty good. It's not terrible. You like contribute the, the Rika can... XYZ. Well, you contribute anything. It's a quick effect. So even Probably if like someone targets some, some like seal. let's say you're playing an in blue eyes, you summon Sage, go to search effect failure. They chain imperm. You chain Kaiser summon it. <laughs> you get the search and then you get Kaiser on board. Simple. Um, Poggers. And then we have uh, Giltia, the D Knight Soul Spear. Oh, uh, yeah, the D Knight. Mm. <laughs> Big old D Knight. Uh, level 5 Light Warrior Effect Monster. Attack 1850, Defense 1500. Then they use this, name, this card named Third Effect once per turn. If you control no monsters, you can normal summon this card without attributing. When this card is normal summoned, you can banish one monster your opponent controls with the highest attack. Oh, sorry, with attack higher than or equal to this card's. Uh, it does not. And third, uh -huh. you can discard one card, uh, add one level seven dark dragon or one level six dark magician. Oh, dark machine. Sorry, or Jinza. one level five water warrior monster from your deck to your hand. It um, adds red eyes black dragon Jinzo or um, water warrior monster. It's legendary fucking fisherman. fisherman. It's fisherman. legendary fisherman. Yes. MK twenty. What does the MK stand for? Mark. Mark. <laughs> I love Chappy Mark. <laughs> we summon guilty of Mark. <laughs> Legendary fisherman Mark. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What's a I feel like I did a better Scottish accent while I was trying to do my <laughs> South African accent than I did when I was trying to do the Scottish accent earlier. Oh. We're from South Africa, Mark. South Africa, Mark. Um, and then lastly we have I don't know if it's in the same set but the somewhere the around there um, Harpy's Pet Dragon Fearsome Fire Blast it is the same set yeah okay uh, level 7 wind dragon effect attack 2k defense 25 now they use this card's first and third effects oh why does it say first and third if it, oh no there it is yeah first and third effects once per turn you can a level 6 a lower wind monster you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position <laughs> <laughs> monster <laughs> <laughs> like, so, like it just thrown a cat across the room it was quite funny to watch even if it was just out of the corner of my eye <laughs> she flew She's, she does seem very confused about where she is now nah she loves it where did I go um, second effect is monsters cannot target level 6 or lower harpy monsters for attacks kind of meh uh, if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can send one wind winged beast monster from your deck to your graveyard so yeah Okay. Of the four, it's probably one of the better ones. I don't mind it in that no, it's like a oh. non-target banish. Cat, not once per turn, non-target banish. Whoever it does say normal summon. It does. In Double fact, summon. Normal summon. Arrival, uh, arrivals. Arrival, arrival, arrivals. Rabba, rabba, rabba. Roger, Roger. It is a level five. <laughs> Roger. It is a level five. But a rabble, rabble, uh, I think Stormforth, Arrival, Arrivals. Oh, yeah. tribute to summon uh, the other one. Stormforth, Tribute your opponent to monster. Summon something else, banish another monster. That's hilarious. What Jimmy. fucking, what was it? What geo organization was it? What? They like, when you said you got fucking support, they were like, yeah, run Stormforth and tribute your opponent's monsters <laughs> to normal summon the fucking. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> Let's not do that. Um, Cat, fuck off. <laughs> in, in further new card news we also have some new cards that were just announced for uh duelist of the whirlwind so uh they seem to all be new speed roids which is kind of cool yay um, yeah. more speed roids actually it's pretty good teratops are cool three back. probably not like you're saying like shut the fuck up just this first one that i'm reading now seems to want to try and replace <laughs> teratops that's fine um, if it gets power creep we can get it back to three <laughs> so um it's name is Speedroid <laughs> Party Horn Kid. Yep. Osmark. I think it's probably meant to be read with def different emphasis. I think it's Party meant to be Horn speed Kid. Yeah. Party Horn Kid, not Ooh. Party Horn Kid. Yes. Party um, Kid. Horn Kid. Party Horn Kid. <laughs> that was very suggestive. <laughs> um, level 4 Wind Machine Johnny Tuna Effect Horn Monster. Horn attack and Defense 1k. Uh, you can only use this first and second effects uh, once per turn. This card is normal special summoned. Uh, you can excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of other wind monsters you control. Add one excavated card to your hand. Also place the rest on 
the bottom of the deck in any order. So it doesn't need to be any, like any specific card. It's just excavate up to the number of ones you have on board. So you, like effectively, if it's just it, wait, does it say other? Yeah, other. other. So you need one other thing on field, and then like it's just a draw one effectively. Okay. Um, and then you can banish this card from your graveyard. Then target one level three or higher wind monster you control. Reduce this level by two. Which I assume helps you do speed run things. Which someone may explain to me one day, but not today. The synchro. Probably not. No one plays speedroids. <laughs> uh, speedroid Magic Hound. Level 3 Wind Machine effect. Attack and defense 800. Uh, you can only use the second effect of this card once per turn. When this card is normal summoned, you can send one speedroid card from your deck to the graveyard. Okay, another normal summon. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Um, if this card... Well, actually, the Speedroid link gives you an extra normal, so it kind of makes sense. Double if you can get there. I need summon my one tier top twice. <laughs> um, if this card is in your graveyard, except the turn it was sent there, you can banish this card, then target one Speedroid monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, special summon one Speedroid synchro monster with the same level but different name from your extra deck, but its effects are negated. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. The uh, I like the art for this. So we have... Oh, it's a big one. Okay. Um, so high speed road clear wing rider. Wind level 11 machine synchro effect monster. 3,500 attack, 2,000 defense. Uh, one wind tuner plus one wind non-tuner synchro monster. Oh, Jesus. It's got a funny first effect. Once per turn during the main phase, or during your main phase, you can roll a six-sided die. Oh, here we fucking go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> oh, hang on. Shuffle a number of yep. wind monsters in your graveyard up to the number you rolled into your deck. Then you can destroy cards your opponent controls equal to the number of cards shuffled into the deck this way. And if you do that, this card gains attack equal to the number of cards destroyed this way times 500. This reads a lot like um, Endymion big thing, like the way it sums itself from scale. Okay. Mighty Master. What? Yes. Yeah. So that one reads very similar. It's like remove six spell counters, and if you do, destroy cards up to the number of cards you remove spell counters from, and if you do, add counters to this card up to the number of um, cards you destroyed. By this see, instead, that's yeah. good though. This is bad. No, no, no. <laughs> Second effect. Mm. Yeah, Second think effect about it. You have to summon it at level 11. Sh 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 sh. Second effect. I mean, that's what the whole deck does. Like, it's just First a single. Boo! Second effect. <laughs> yes. First During effect. your opponent. During your opponent's main phase, you can tribute this Synchro Summon card. God knows why you go through all that effort and then fucking tribute it. Uh, special Summon up to two level 7 Wind Synchro Monsters with different names from your extra deck. Oh, okay. Clear Wing. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, okay, so you can summon Fast Wing, fast wing and uh, Clear Wing. Yeah. Well, you summon probably like <gasps> one and of you them. you overlay them into Absolute Dragon. Oh, yeah, Dragon, you actually wander X Y Z. And you yeah. link that off and make Kelly Yuga. Yeah, okay, so you play... You link... What is it? Um, what? Wonder XV? Is it? The one that lets you XZ off turn. And then if you don't already have IP, you use the World Legacy card that lets you link off turn. Yeah, World Legacy Awakens. Yeah, yeah. Shut We've up, got a nerd. Plan, guys. <laughs> We've got a plan, guys. It's all coming together. It's like Snack Nights. <clears throat> Do not speak of Snack Nights. Where's that gun, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Please. It's in all seven next to the chili. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you can't. Oh, it's fine. Welcome to the chilies. Um... You need a background check for the chili. <laughs> the next synchro we have warnings. is High Speed Roid, Cork Decamator. Decamator? I don't know. Uh, wind level wrong. 3 machine, synchro, is... tuner, oh, effect, 500 attack, 1000 defense, one tuner, one or more non tuners, generic. Good if this card synchro summoned, you can activate one of the following effects Add one Speed Roid spell or trap from deck to hand. If this card is special summon using only speed road monsters as material and all monsters used as material for the synchro summon of this card are in your graveyard, you can special summon those monsters. Fuck, that's alright. Okay. Uh, you can only use this effect of whatever its name is once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate this card except wind monsters. Cool. Invoke. And then we have a trap. which oh, is... is it just a counter trap? Oh, oh no, no, this trap is a real normal good. trap, so it has tings. Um, speed road duplicate. Um, you can only use the second effect of this card once per turn. Once per turn, I believe it is. Uh, banish one wind monster from your graveyard, then target one card your opponent controls, return to the hand. Imagine Wait for it. paying cost oh, for no. fucking... Jesus. Yeah. Wait uh, for it, During baby. your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one speed road monster you control, reduce this level by one, and if you do, 
special summon this card as a normal monster. Level one, attack zero, defense zero. So Tuna. let me get this straight. Wait, this card this, is not treated as a This is just this Donimus is the, Howling. It is. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's Donimus the first howling that specials that itself from the gray. graveyard. It's okay. the first of its kind. Let's be real. It's tiny. Actually, Shut does it, up. Wait, does it banish itself when it leaves? No. It's tiny. Uh, oh, so you can just do it again later. I think it's supposed to say once per duel. It does, in fact. It's tiny. But you know they use this card second so effect once per duel. Yeah. So it's the worst shit tidying. And tidying is just a shit howling. And howling is just shit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, salad boy. If you didn't say that, I was going to come up with like a really, really obscure old trap card and I was going to be like... <laughs> yeah, look, my brain was ticking in that direction too. Howling's to just kind of like Kuno Chain. Um, <laughs> not. And that Kuno of Chain's just Robin Zombie, so... Oh, God, I love that card back Robin in the day. Robin Zombie's just shit Robin Goblin. Robin Goblin's just shit Ultimate Offering. Ultimate Offering's just what shit What are you guys talking reborn. about? <laughs> Monster <laughs> Reborn's just a shit Normal Summon Silver Fang. <laughs> normal Summon Silver Fang's just a... Normal Summon. Alright. Reborn's just a shit Thunder Special Wolf. Summon? Uh-huh. Okay. Big Chungus. <laughs> oh yeah, that I was the other thing. Uh, so, storm yeah. reprints. so we have reprints for the cyber machine, whatever it is. That we're not going to get. <laughs> How about you let us These actually discuss are... the news before you discuss the fucking part I have of it? The proclamation: These reprints are fake. Yes. Huh? We aren't getting them. No. Well, you see, the the set list number for Lightning Storm is SD thirty four dash JP zero four one. Okay. And the set number for infinite permanence is SD thirty four dash JP zero four one. They might just be a stock image. <gasps> no, 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 no. That's what they've listed. Ba, 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 ba. I imagine so it's just mean? a mistake. Are we going to tell no, what the cards fake. are? I don't think why your organisation is posting fake stuff. Should we just tell them what the card is? Fake. So, anyway, very pretty mokey as, mokey. As and Dynamis Towering is an ulti. As far as the news we've <laughs> take so far. <laughs> The OCG in those structured decks for Cyber Dragon bullshit, whatever it is, is getting Lightning Storm and Infinite Impermanence. God, I can't wait to get Forbidden Chalice and Hatronade. <laughs> uh, I actually think it'll be a Twister. Lightning Vortex and Breakthrough Skill. No, it's Effect Veiler and MST. That's all you get. No, nah, we'll get a Twister, which is just shit MST. <laughs> yeah, pay 500 life points to do that. You know have, We haven't had a good reprint in a while, though. Galaxy cycling. <laughs> it has been a hot minute. No, it hasn't. We got it in fucking Secret Slayers, and there was like 50 a pack. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, but that we was a year ever... ago. Has anything important happened in Yu-Gi-Oh! in the last year anyway? Mm-hmm. VFT got banned. Normal summon chamber dragon head. Mm-hmm. That was over die. a year ago. You need to let no, go. You we have <laughs> seen Etko at this point. I'll die before had. I stop playing the deck. We definitely had Echo by now. The North Americans hadn't received Echo yet because they got it two months later. <laughs> It'd be interesting to see if A, we get anything comparable to that, or B, we get the structure deck at all. Because they may well do the separation. We, we already have a date. We already oh, have we have a set it. release for that one? Yeah, okay. it's July. What's oh, the good. structure deck? What are the confirmed structure decks we're getting so far? This one. That one. And they've announced not anything in it, but the agents. <sighs> Why the fuck is Agent no, do, Fury getting uh, a structure just a, Because just, they're revamping all the old ones. So that's currently oh. just an OCG thing. We don't have a date for that. Don't try and make me think that we're not getting it. Give me an exact structure deck. We only have a date for one beaches. structure deck. <laughs> don't play this game. <laughs> you will lose. Goes anyway. What was the guy's name? I don't care. Then it'll be good because they only separate the good ones. We're calling that two separate conversations. Yeah, because it's only really jarring. Interrupting what I'm saying again. We're talking about the B movie. Of course you are. We talk about B agents. Sick. Barry B Benson. Podcast question. Time to shut up. Huge. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. So our first question comes from Y Rye guy. Sorry. Um, I like rye any... bread. <laughs> shut up. Like rye. Rye like guy rye asks. Top, rye shut bottom. up, Josh. A bit of rye in the middle. Pastrami. I will fucking murder you. What the fuck is pastrami? <laughs> any cards you were looking forward to in Ancient Guardians or anything on the upcoming products? Okay, before no. you say this, I need to answer your question. It's Devon. 
Is pastrami Devon? Probably not, but I'm going to go with it is. No, bologna yeah. is Devon. No, let me look. I'm looking up bologna. what pastrami is. If anyone who is international watching, listening, watching, listening, watching, hearing, do you have, do you have Devon in your country? Yeah, what is What's it's probably banned by their, like, health fucking ratings. <laughs> Devin, Devin's just like... Devin tomato sauce sandwich childhood. Yeah, it's like a, some Kraft single. Or Lachlan, right on top. pastrami okay. is a beef brisket. Now to basically. answer Rai Guy's question. Snacks. You a Rai Guy? Yes. Snacks are the best thing from Aging Guardians. Praise be to Snacks. For the moment. Uh, say what you're going to say. I'm trying to. Some... Fuck, we he was interrupting he was. me. He literally was doing exactly that, and then you said, "Say what you're saying right this second and you interrupted him. <laughs> Praise be to snacks. <laughs> Fuck window. <laughs> Not you. You are snake brother. You die. <laughs> Fuck. And Logan is snake rat. <laughs> It's alright, he doesn't listen Wouldn't to Wouldn't matter, because he's never going to hear this. <laughs> Very true. If he says, did you say that? I'm going to say, no. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> and he if... will never know. <laughs> yeah. So, coming back to Agent Guardians, the, the rankings of the card quality seems to be snakes, because they're like, A, a fantastic engine, and B, can enable FTKs. B, Dora Meek Horde, um, it's a pendulum archetype that seems to be getting ongoing support moving forward as well, because they've got the link and a They do seem and... pretty okay. Mm. Yeah. I think her Sartic's a bit better. It's no. Not. I played against her Sartic today. I popped their Synchro and they immediately like, must have burned off their computer and like threw it into a gorge. <laughs> they couldn't have quit faster. <laughs> it's weird how quickly things turned around for that as well. I think... It's like that dude you drilled the other day. Yeah, that guy I drilled. Yeah. What made me quit quick. his live screen. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That happened. Um... Yeah, it's funny how quickly it turned around for that set. Like, everyone was hyping up the bears when they first got announced, and then they sat down and actually tried to play the deck. They're like, oh, oh Sucks. this is bad. There's another deck, like, fucking Sun Owl, that they released, and they're like, is this cool thing a deck can do? To be, Can't do it, though. To be fair, <laughs> Sun Avalon gets support, which makes it better, because they get arrows that point sideways. <laughs> Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, they can be extra the link, bro. The best sideways oh. pointing arrows since Proxy Dragon and Nightmare Goblin. Woo! Goblin, part of the official Goblin archetype. Hey, what about the new Heavy Metal Foes <laughs> link? With Robin Goblin. That's not new. And it's the also one bad. Goblin card that references Goblin as an archetype. <laughs> I don't know what it is. That's um, three. Goblin. Other than that, I'd, like, the next set's gonna be fun lightning overdrive there's supposed to be some really good stuff Didn't in that get a no. fucking lightning it has like five good thing? cards and if they're not all secrets i'll be impressed <laughs> look they probably will be was it lightning so you got text last year or um what was the one lightning storm came in blazing vortex no yeah. no no what was it there was definitely another lightning set ignition um, of soul was ignition of soul ignition of soul was that lightning set vortex. is the worst set ever released no blazing vortex is the worst no no Blazing Vortex is like the shittest set. Shut up, child. <laughs> I would like to argue that Cybernetic Revolution is the worst set in Yu Gi Oh history. Is that dangerous, isn't it? Are you fucking kidding? I said the wrong set. <laughs> <laughs> I said the wrong word. I thought you were going to say, I said what I said. But and it's didn't. not Cybernetic Revolution, it's <laughs> Cybernetic Horizon is a danger set. So what are you what are you talking about? I was talking about the set from 2005 that introduced Cyber Dragon into the game. <laughs> What do you mean? So Dragon's part Things of the have been metal going for a very long fastly time. Fastly downhill since then. Yeah. We're at peak Fastly's Yu-Gi-Oh. the way to say that. Yeah. Peak Yu-Gi-Oh. Fastly. When Ben was the best. Before there were more than two summons a turn. Yes. <laughs> and set giant soldier of stone pass was optimal. Because Legion could not Jeez. attack over it. Yes. And you would activate wave motion cannon. Your opponent would be like. Five turns later, I drew my MST. I activate my MST. You have judgment. I scoop. Please, you didn't need judgment back then. You just needed another copy of MST. Oh, true, true. (laughs) I think they should just change it, and that's how it works. (laughs) Like, if you MST and MST, that should negate it. (laughs) No, no. How it should be is if you play the same card as someone already played. Like, if, like, in theory, if um, I should all play a flipped up schism, and then you flip up your schism, (laughs) they (laughs) negate each other. Yeah. Theoretically, (laughs) this is. Knock out, no, cross out designator. Just give us. Yeah, you have a copy basically. of it in your deck. Except you need to neg one to do it. 
Yeah, still. Mm. Cross of Days Moon is the only reason Maxi is still not banned in the OCG. Wrong. No. Probably Why? Because right. they like people to draw. It's because they have a healthy meta. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike us. Their meta is the last meta. Their meta is one game rounds. For some reason, the OCG in the past year has been like the format before us. That's not how it's supposed to work. Yeah, but they've got more like stuff going on as well, though. They've always got like eight decks that can do stuff. Whereas over here, it's never. (laughs) Or if it's eight decks, they all are fucking bad. Having covered the OCG for the past six months, it's just been the same fucking three decks at the top of every meta, and it's like, "Mm, it sucks. (laughs) Yeah, but shut up. Right, anyway. Look, we nearly got back to another episode, but we avoided it. Fuck um, window. <laughs> episode 12, he was yeah. brag. Uh, next question comes from... Is it Froman? Or Froman? Froman. Um, if Konami decided to simply not make any new card types for Master Rule updates anymore for the TCG, OCG, and instead simply revise the rules like they decided for MR5, in quotations, do you think it will be better or worse for the health and longevity of the game? I would quit. Well, but they didn't, didn't introduce a new mechanic. Yeah. yeah. You really like playing the previous one. Huh? Because this is boring. Move on. Get it on. We didn't need just you anyway, have so just keep going. going. Oh, what if they I don't know what they scales what, back what could they add? the middle of the it used to be? Huh? What could they add? I don't fucking know. They add chaos summoning. It's just link summoning, but from your graveyard. Speed the game up. I don't know. One of the only things I think they can change is put the pendulum zones back. Oh, yeah, it's that thing that Ben just said. Yeah, the thing I said, like, not even 30 seconds ago. Oh, did you? Yes. Listen to the table, Josh. No, no, he has his own inner monologue, and at any point that may throw out a question... Give us deck masters. Oh, oh, can you imagine trying to program effectively 10,000 cards in as deck master cards? Give us deck masters. <laughs> um, Have you read one deck master card? I mean, read yes, no. I read Judge Man. <laughs> What'd it do? Judge I'm judging judges. you, bro. <laughs> you found guilty being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, it's difficult to say. Like, I don't know what they would add at this point. Like, they can maybe change, like Ben said, how pendulums work again. Maybe try and give them a little bit back, seeing as though they took so much. Just give us oh. one of the pendulum scales back where it was. <laughs> 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 or like a third pendulum. Give us the pendulum triangle. Oh, God. I don't Why? know how it would work. What would it do? That's you their job. They have an R&D body. department for something, right? <laughs> Do your job. <laughs> well, it's interesting because they don't have a mainstream anime anymore. Like, they've got Rush Tools, which is a completely different car game on its own. So I don't know what the plan is from here. Can't wait to play that. <laughs> Not here. What do you mean? You can play it already. <laughs> With your Speed Duels cards. <sighs> oh, yeah. With that your Deck really Masters. Well. <laughs> that really well supported <sighs> format. Yeah, I remember. Um, yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to see what happens from here, basically. I don't know what they would do from here to change the game, other than just keep power from creeping. Just become... Just give us, a, like, a... Just give us a bit of, like, a, a harder reset than they've been willing to do recently. And I can understand why they're not doing as hard a reset now. Yeah. Because they want to try... It just feels like it would open up more opportunities to create decks that are around, like, Cosmo level speed, which they can't do anymore. And, like, a lot of the decks they've released are that speed recently. But then they've just got these top decks that are like, you can't play these decks because these other decks exist. Yeah. I, I think it would create a bit when more diversity. When was the last time there was a hard reset of the format? Uh, January 2020? Yep. Yeah. Oh, was that the... That was everything dies list. Oh. Yeah. That was when they killed everything so hard that they killed other decks so that they wouldn't be the best decks. Mm-hmm. It's when... Diagram was, yeah. wrong, right? was the best deck after yeah. that when they got and Souls. Died. Yeah, because Souls came out and Spiral became the best deck. Ugh. For like a little bit. I hated and that. And then Spiral's so much. got their final warning. I love that warning. so much. No, fuck you, Ben. Wait. Fuck you and Spirals. XYZ, Salamander Master, you cannot play the Deck Oh, yeah, I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hopefully 
definitely doesn't get us copyright stricken. Someone can get like We a don't count. earn money anyway. There's uh, no copyright. Someone can get a count of how many times I've contradicted myself in video. I'll be very impressed. It'd be it for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Um, any other comments? Yeah, not thanks for your uh, comment, by the way. That was awesome. Yeah, thank you, Fromir. Uh, next one is from Rock715. Uh, when a deck can be played a combo, mid-range, and or control, what variant do you tend to play? You play mid-range. Mid-range. I play control. Oh, it depends on the combo. I don't know. I, I, I think, think mine's mid-range. You tend to go either way on the spectrum. Yeah, like... it's control. I, I don't play mid-range. I play control or combo. I don't play mid-range. I'm not a <laughs> mid-range player. Do you play combo based on how many cards it rips out of hand? <laughs> or how many infant, how many negates it puts up, right? Like, with Dynamist, it was... Oh, I can put up infinity negates. With the other thing, it was like... I can rip cards. I Like, I'm, I don't play mid-range, essentially. Mm. That's the th also mid range in like the modern game is like oh I killed you on turn three and four. <laughs> Invoked is the only mid range deck, <laughs> and even then, like it's only if you're mm. playing it as invoked. Once you start going to Shadol, <clears throat> it's like Invoked Mech Knight is probably mid range too. Yeah, because it's not really combo or moment. control. Salad mid range, unless you're playing like just pure a control. bigger Mech Knight pack. The way you play it's control, bordering yeah. on stun. Yeah. I don't sit on cards. Hold on. That's, that's all you do. Hold on. Fucking moving my feet, cunt. <laughs> I don't sit on cards. Has one lone bailing on the board with five back row. <laughs> one of them's the floodgate. One of them's the floodgate. Two of them sometimes. are strike. One of them's the counter trap. Only sometimes. No, Almost all always. No, no, no. I nearly mean, lost against Lozor, and then I drew Imperial Lord off. I didn't lose. <laughs> Fuck you. Who'd have thunk it? I'm going to summon stop. two spell canceller against you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> did you turn them into an infinity? Like, I looked to I my right. I considered it, but I was like, Jake was crackling Jake cannot up. Beat like, this. <laughs> what is he laughing at? And then I, I like, looked at his suit and I was like, why are there two spell cancellers there? I was like, Flair can't negate this unless there's an extra deck monster in the field. <laughs> yeah, look. I'll and a Dogmatica. I was like, this doesn't happen for him. Yeah, Fleur was the only thing I had in hand too. My hand was so fucking bad. Anyway, we don't talk about that game. Never again. Um, yeah, so I think... Yeah, I think the way I play my deck is pretty much like... Is mid-range. It, yeah, it'd be sitting between mid-range and control the way it is yeah. at the moment. But I tend not to play a lot a of the floodgates. It's been a while since you combo anything. Well, it hasn't been any combo decks that I've been super interested in. Once the Ignister support comes out in the next one, sure, I'll play that yeah. forever. Because that looks really good. Hmm. I kind of feel like Lachlan was ripped out of playing combo by the ban list. Every time I've played combo. Any yes. time that there's a combo. Konami just went. Konami's like, no, no. No, go back to monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a combo player at heart. I just get forced to fucking play control. Because every combo I play I'm gets looking at a combo deck called by the Code Talker list. Extra Link. It's not good, but it's a combo deck. Extra there. Link? In Master Rule 5? <laughs> yeah, Are you okay? <laughs> We summon the heavily into their field. So then it's an actual, proper extra link. Just normal summon over it or? Tribute summon? Yeah. Okay. What are you doing then? The rest of the turn? What deck tribute summons and then combos? Shut up. Yeah, but I definitely yeah, play but... extremes. I play one end or the other. There's no <laughs> mid range. I tried mid range once, right? Do you remember that Dynamis deck that just didn't have a fucking gimmick in it? And just lost. Yeah. With the... Uh, well, I guess there was gimmick, but it wasn't... It was like Hoppier Squadron and shit. And it was like... <laughs> oh, I remember that. With Metaphys yeah. Horus and stuff. And I had some success with it, but just not enough. Uh, yeah, if I had to put a statement on that deck, I would say it was just annoying. <laughs> like, it wasn't like... It wasn't like, oh my god, this deck is so problematic. Or like, oh my god, this does amazing combos. It's just like... Oh, this fucking thing again. It's like, oh, if I make <laughs> the first a time... couple of mistakes and he draws well, I might lose. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think the first time Lachlan ever summoned Hoppy Squadron, I was like, what's he going to summon? He summoned Taurus, I'm like, summon Hoppy Squadron. <laughs> what the hell does this card do? And I'm like, it steals. Yeah. And then I passed turn because I couldn't make Balix. Oh, you stole that quickly. He's just like, normal summon Flame Buffalo. And you're like, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> That's what you do. 
Jake knows all about that. Activate Stealing my buffalo every turn. Ah, cracked out. I might put that back in this side. See how it uh, goes. Then what you get? Fucking lightning storm. Then I cry. So Josh can't afford that. Yeah, you deserve it. He's on an eighty-eight dollars and thirty cent budget. Forty-two cents. Oh, plus I'm saying forty-two. It access like code talker. Oh wait, I pulled an ulti that doesn't count. Shop up. Okay, okay Shop gauge. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh yeah, did we mention that on the podcast? We have not mentioned that. That should be going up like after the podcast, I guess. Podcast. Yeah. It's going up Sunday. Sunday, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday. Like these cards. Um, we've got a pretty cool thing coming out, Ben and I. Oh, yeah. Do yes. you? Um, we do. On each channel, we'll have individual videos. About $100 deck versus $1 billion deck. Yes. <laughs> Lachlan thinks he stands a chance. Uh, I have got the hundred dollar deck. Ben has got the big Julian dollar deck, and Spoilers I believe I stand a chance. I think we already referenced it. Yeah, did, did we? Did. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, that'll be ben interesting. We'll just play like Max Rody Dragon Maid. Yes. <laughs> this this is this card is Starlight, right? This card is Starlight, right? This card yeah. Is Starlight, right? That's all right. Is, ignore what it says on the video. Gold, 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 common, <laughs> gold. This is a rare, which was ch- oddly cheaper than the common. <laughs> This is Mega Pack, I swear. Uh, <laughs> it's an OCG card. Mega really Pack commons are actually usually more expensive than the commons. Let's talk about the what rares. Was that card oh. that was really expensive to commons? Phantom Skyblaster? A $20 common? Well, yes. Ash? Yeah, because there was like no yeah. other printing. Oh, yeah, Ash is, Ash is that. Never Ash mind. is more Ash expensive is than the structure deck it comes in. <laughs> yeah, it's another return to the situation. It was like that situation. like a month after it came out. Yeah, I just didn't should know be done. Forward. Vendors are very good for the game. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Um, um, so that concludes the uh, questions that we've been asked this week. If you have any questions, feel free to jump into our Discord. The link is uh, below if you're on YouTube. Um, come into the chat and say howdy. Um, otherwise, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment them on the video. Um, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions you'd like to ask us outside of that, feel free to email us at teamc4g at gmail.com, the four being the number. Um, Otherwise, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us this evening, and we'll see you guys next week.